so uh, continuing uh, ahead, we have um, we have now support for working lists, and um, I will uh, oops, um, go back here. And the child program is, as you know, a tracker program. Uh, when um, when we are working with a tracker program, we always have these uh, three standard working lists at the top for active enrollments, completed enrollments, and cancelled enrollments, which has been inherited from the old tracker capture. Uh, now that we have um, the opportunity of making our own working lists, so uh, this uh, will be replaced when uh, when you make your own uh, working list. If I make one uh, now, uh, listing um, uh, listing um, uh, children born this month, for example, um, and uh, maybe adding the gender column <coughs> and um, making sure that we are. Uh, ordering based on last name. Um, I can save this uh, view <coughs> and um, uh, this uh, with a name. And um, as you see, this uh, view will take the place of the three standard lists. So once you start using the working lists, they will take the place of these three um, standard lists. And if you need any of them as well, you would have to add them uh, in addition. Um, in this list, um, there's a preset uh, configuration that, of the order of the columns and um, also of the filters that uh, has been uh, stored. Uh, this uh, list can be shared um, as you would be uh, expecting from the, the way this works for, for a single event program. Uh, you could share um, uh, this with, uh, with uh, another program and, and allow, um, allow the users to uh, to see this list automatically without having to add, the, add it themselves. Uh, so this is useful when working with the um, with the with the use case where where you uh, know of a good working list that could be shared with everyone. Um, the list can of course be deleted again, and if I do that, uh, we are back at the three standard working lists here uh, in um, in the tracker program. Um, 